Hi everyone, this is Kyle, and in this video I'm going to discuss the best ways to save your main stage and logic related files. I had a friend recently who told me that his hard drive was almost out of space and when we looked at it he was saving everything to his desktop, all of his main stage files, all of his logic files, so his entire hard drive was out of space. So I want to put this video together for people like you maybe who, uh, who may be having the same problem and show you how I'm saving all these files. So first, what we're looking at right now is obviously a main stage concert. And let's suppose that I wanted to save all the files associated with this. Um, first, we'll take a look at where I'm saving the concert file itself. Um, so again, this is the main stage concert file. And what I have is a subfolder under my music. I'm running Mac uh, OS X, obviously. So I have a music folder, main stage sets, and then um, and subfolders. I'll always have pretty much only one set in this subfolder corresponding to the upcoming week that I'll be leading at uh, my church or something like that. So you can see that's what this subfolder is and likewise this subfolder is separate um, for the music I play with, uh, uh, with my band. And so I'll always pretty much only have two concert files here. And again, these you'll want to save to your hard drive, not to an external drive. And that's because when you play on a, on a Sunday morning perhaps or when you play with um, people on stage, you don't want to have to plug in an external hard drive to play. You just want to have your laptop and be good to go with that. So I would recommend saving all of these to your, um, your regular hard drive here. Uh, secondly, obviously we're using a lot of playback plugins. This is what allows you to use backing tracks. And so all, all these playback plugins have uh, files loaded, specifically CAF files, core audio format. And so we need some place to save these. And like the concert file, I recommend saving these at, um, on your uh, local hard drive as well. So I have a separate folder under music where I save these and it's, I call it my samples folder. And it's in the same way I've got one set for Sunday morning worship and I've got one for my band. And what you can see is in order to organize it under the worship one, I then have uh, songs. And I've just started this, so obviously I only have four here for this upcoming Sunday. Um, but this is going to be filled with uh, every song that you'll play uh, for uh, for church. And so this could potentially be a, a gigantic list here of folders. And then you'll notice as I go into them, you'll see all of the, the CAF files that Mainstage is referencing. So what this means is that when you have a Mainstage concert, all your playback plugins are going to be referencing files located inside of this worship folder. Um, you can also set up main stage so that it all it'll copy these files into a separate folder alongside your concert file but I'd recommend not doing this this is how you can really start eating up space in your hard drive what you should do is have your main stage just simply reference the CAF files that are located in this folder so this is where it's always going to stand and my concert file simply references it from here alright so again this is where all the CAF files and, and these CAF files I've bounced from logic um, next we'll take a look at the patches um, what you want to do is when you create a new uh, new concert or a new set and you're putting new songs in, uh, you simply want to select your template and then ideally you would just want to uh, you just want to import your patch that already exists. So what you'd uh, select is, I just use Apple I, and this will allow me to import a patch. Again, patches are representing songs in this instance. Uh, so what I have is a list of um, this is the final thing I'm really storing on my hard drive, a list of patches, which is a list of songs. So I'll go under Worship, and you can see that if I select one of these, and I'll just select uh, Oh Praise Him, it's going to load it. Obviously, I already have one up here, but now it's loaded it right here. Likewise, uh, these, these playback plugins are referencing the CAF files uh, that I just showed you in my sample subfolder. Um, so you want to have your patches all saved, and to save a patch, let me explain that as well. Let's pretend I, I've just set up Oh Praise Him, right? I've dropped or I've loaded the playback plugins with the corresponding CAF files, and now in order to make it so I never have to load those like that again, I can simply export this patch. So I'll use Apple E. This brings up the export pop-up window, and uh, again, I have a subfolder for my patches subfolder for worship and this is where every song uh, that I ever do on Sunday morning is going to go I'll praise him and I can save it here so this means that next time when I create that new concert file if I'm playing I'll praise him again I can simply do Apple I pull up I'll praise him it's going to pull it up it's going to have the correct um, BPM here it's going to have 
the correct tracks. It's going to have everything loaded, and it's always going to reference that other subfolder. So this is what really prevents your um, hard drive from blowing up with these files, because you can just simply reference it. Um, and then finally, the one thing that you will want to store on an external hard drive is going to be your Logic concert files. So uh, obviously for me, I'm creating all these loops, or at least I'm editing a lot of them in Logic. And the reason I'm putting this on my external hard drive now is because let's see, worship, uh, is because when I'm playing on Sunday morning, I don't need access to these Logic files. I don't need to have my external hard drive plugged in. This is something where when I'm working on it beforehand, I'll plug my external in, and now you can see a bunch of songs. These are all the songs that uh, I have tracks for. Um, in the corresponding lo the logic file. Um, this way it can prevent these really big files from, from taking up too much space. You don't need to plug it in when you're playing with a band, um, but you can still have everything saved. Um, and plus it's kind of backed up if anything happens to your hard drive. This is really the core of all of the work that you've done, so you wouldn't want to lose this. Um, so again, a recap, the main stage concert files, the samples, and the patches can all be stored on your local hard drive. Um, I like to put them in three different um, directories, and then finally your logic concert file can be stored on an external hard drive. Cool, if you have any questions let me know. Thanks and have a great day.